With this video, we're going to be working with the polygonal lasso tool. So we need the box image that you downloaded already and you should have on your desktop. So make sure your Photoshop application is open. And then we're going to go to the Photoshop menu, file open. And you're going to locate your box image, click on it, hit open. And then we're going to save the file by saying save as. And you're going to name it uh, your last name right here. You're going to highlight that area and type in your last name. And then underscore boxes, you just leave that. Okay, so save that to your desktop. And then hit OK because we do want the large file. I can make it a little larger, 12 quality. Say OK. And there we have, we're ready to go. OK, now we're, the polygon lasso tool is the tool that you use when you want to make a selection on a very simple rectangular or an object that has straight edges to it. Um, it could be a square, rectangle, series of rectangles like we have here. So the polygon lasso tool is the third tool down on the toolbar. And when you hit it, you see they have the little labels that's popping up right now. Maybe yours is hidden underneath the other tools. There's a lasso tool and the magnetic lasso tool um, underneath there. But we want the polygon lasso tool. So you click that and make that the active tool. And we slide the tool over to the image. And what you do is you start hitting the, the angular points on the image and it'll create a selection just by selecting the points. So I clicked it once, click again, click, go down, go down, go down, go down, down, down around. Now we're going to go over to the left. Just follow along the edge and just, you know, make those points right at the corners. It's very simple and easy to do. And the, the line will be straight for you uh, as long as you're clicking on those corners. And we're going to go all the way around this box. Go back up. And there we have the selection. And that marching ants indicate that that is a selection. As you've learned in the past few weeks, marching ants means that an object is selected. Now with our selection, what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a, an alpha channel. And what an alpha channel will do is save your selection for future use. So how we do that with the, with the marching ants going, like they're showing right now that the selection is created, you go up to select and save selection and you'll get a dialog box. And we're gonna, we have to name this box stack. And the operation says new channel, we're creating a new channel, we go okay. And now you see this, the channel panel is here. And there is our new channel created, and it's called box stack. When we turn that on, you see a mask, that red mask, okay? So that means that you have created a loaded selection in your file, okay? When we turn off the little eyeball, it just shows you the selection. So what I want you to do now is Control or Command D, and that will deselect the, our selection. And to get the selection back, we go up to the Photoshop menu, select, load selection, hit OK. And now we have the selection again. There is another way to load that selection. It's by coming down here in the channels panel and hitting that little um, that dotted line down there, that's the, the mask uh, for the channel. 
but we're just going to load it um, the traditional way by select load selection till you kind of get used to that. And that's how we create a selection in Photoshop. So let's command D and save your file. And we are ready to move on.